What's up, everyone? This is Big Poner, and I wanted to touch on one of the things that we're new this season. I've touched on Delirium. Obviously, as the season goes on, figure stuff out, get more tips. I'll make more stuff on that. But what I want to touch on is the Jewel Clusters. There can be some really good ones. I've got some really nice ones. But knowing how we can manipulate these is going to help you to get the ones that you need. And if you find one that doesn't have the stuff on it that you want, it's going to give you access on how to do that. I don't know how the market is going to be on buying these. Normally, the trade networks are hard to search stuff like this, um, especially like really early. So finding the ones that you want and then, you know, getting them to how you want them, you need to know how to manipulate them. So that's what this video is going to be about. Let's say I'm playing a bleed build. I really like this um, added small passives grant 5% to physical overtime multiplier. But I have it as a 3 stat and there's no jewel socket on it. There are several ways that we can manipulate these. One way that we can manip manipulate these is just like you would do to any other jewel. A jewel cluster. So we can use an orb of chance, see if we get lucky and it winds up turning into a uh, rare one and then see if we like what's on there. The next thing we can do, we can add stats if there's one stat on it and then obviously we can regal it if we like the stats and we can get a three stat. The other thing that we can do is we can get it back to these stats. So let's say I don't like these things that are on it. I can simply reroll it with orbs of alteration. And then I would just take and be like, you know, I do or don't like this and I would keep on rerolling it until I get it. If you are trying to get a really good one, you are going to have to scour an alkit or you are going to have to use chaos orbs. Those are going to be the only ways to get a four stat one. Oh, oopsies. Um, upgrade you. Alright, so I want to force that one. I really like the, the top part. The top part doesn't change. So that's what you're really looking for when they drop. Obviously, if it drops amazing and it has everything that you want, you're going to keep it like that. Two ways that we can try to get the, the bottom stats to be a four stat that we like everything on it. One is a Chaos Orb. Right there, I got, um, what did I get? Small passives, 2% increased damage. Um, small passives, 5% increased mana regeneration, and I got a jewel socket, exposed therapy. Um, so, I don't really like this. If I was playing a bleed build, which is what the hypothetical build was, I wouldn't like this. I would keep going. Maybe I don't want to use chaos. I could scour it and then alchemy it. Here's a good example. I got a couple things on it that are good. 50% increased damage with bleeding you inflict on mained enemies. That's pretty good. 12% to damage over time multiplier for bleeding. That's good. 30% increased bleed duration. That's good. However, it's a 3 stat. So I would keep rolling this till I get all stuff that I want on a 4 stat. The 4 stats is pretty important because what makes these so good is that when I get into a cluster down here, I have this four stat one. And what happens is for the cost, once I get to here, every two stat points, I'm either getting a large, I'm either getting a large, um, I don't know, I'm <laughs> passive, passive tree point is what I'm calling it right now because I'm having a br brain fart. After you get these initial points in, every two, you're gaining another one, which if you look at any of these places on our tree, you know, it takes us a while to get to places that we want to be, which means we wind up allocating a lot of points. The example that I'm going to use for this is with this, I can then add a medium one and then I can add a small one to that. Say I wanted more damage and more HP, I would have one, two, three, four, five, six. There's some damage. There's some damage. Seven, eight points, and I would have 13% HP, 12% increased attack speed. To give you an example, it would take me only. 
These are just going to be examples. So once we're here, it would take me three points to get to here, and then the small ones are only two points. And what would I gain from that? Whatever is on, on this cluster, and then whatever's on this cluster. That would only be a, a, a that would be a, a minimum of five points. I'd be saving three points, and this for instance is a good rolled this is, for instance is a good rolled small cluster for HP. This would give me twelve percent HP for two points added to this and 0.5% regeneration per second and every five seconds I regenerate 10% of my life over one second super good jewel and that cost me two points as an addition to this I don't think that these are going to be strong enough to to you know I want three sets of these I don't think it's going to be something where I'm going to be like all right i want to sacrifice three four five six seven eight points just to get over there it's just too many points the thing that makes you so good is it's going to be like a finishing thing you can get your main main stat stream and then you can get anything that you really need to finish your build into there whether it just be more hp they have good resistance jewels uh, resistance I know there's resistance jewels in here. Oh, here we go. So small ones, we've got resistance jewels, 15% in the top. And then obviously you can roll whatever in the bottom area. Pretty much everything that you need to finish your build or just simply to buff it up, you can find inside of these areas, which is what makes them so powerful is you don't have to go way out of your way once you reach that point in your build to finish something, say I need mana regeneration, I need more HP, I need more damage, I need more accuracy, I can find a jewel for that, it can go into one of those slots, and then I can fill in the, the excess stuff attached to that that I want. That is what makes that is what makes these so strong. Um, so you are going to want to start paying attention to those. Look for the things that you want. Like when I found this, I was like, I really want to be able to put HP into my small socket. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to roll it until I get all of the stuff that I want to use on it. And there's other really good HP ones. There's one I think that gives like, there's one 12%, there's a 10%, but they don't have as good of like passives. The regeneration's really nice. So I'm happy with this one. But you can even get two sockets on your large one if you don't need as many of the, the points for the larger jewel and then you can branch it off even more so you can get a lot more um a lot more a lot more into those trees if that's what you want to do for myself right now i don't have really good stuff to try to branch it out like that but it's stuff that i'm looking for to see what type of combinations i can get anyways i hope that this helps you guys i hope that this puts you in tune with what's going on with the new stuff in the game so that hopefully you can start collecting up some really good stuff and make your build even stronger whatever your build is thanks for watching peace